Welcome to Walkie Reviews. And if you're finding this channel for the first time and you like tech reviews and loads of other tech related stuff, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications so you can find your way back here more easily in the future. So when it comes to wireless earbuds, there are so many options out there to choose from and it's just such a competitive marketplace. But you know, one of the things that I really love about tech is nothing will ever be perfect because everything always evolves and continues to improve. And I'm talking about products like this, the Huawei FreeBuds Pro, which are an all new and improved version of my favorite earbuds or one of my favorite earbuds from last year, the FreeBuds 3. So let's look at the design upgrades first. Huawei have gone away from the rounded stems that so many earbuds have these days and have instead gone for a more boxier Tesla Cybertruck style looking stem, which I personally think actually look a lot more futuristic and a little bit more cool than the traditional sort of AirPods style earbuds. And this design really helps Huawei differentiate these earbuds from pretty much all of the competition right now and have really created their own style here. The stem is also considerably shorter than last year's offering, which is a good thing. And the finish of the FreeBuds Pro is nice and premium as you would expect. And I'm definitely a fan of this silver color here. I actually really like this. It's kind of like a gunmetal silver. That is pretty awesome. And they are also available in the classic white or black as well. The case is slightly larger and wider than the circular FreeBuds 3 case of last year, but it does house a slightly larger battery at 580 milliamp hours. So you've got slightly more backup battery there than you did before. And on the side of the case is a discrete pairing button. And on the base of the case is a USB-C port as you would expect which of course supports fast charging. And now onto the usability section. So an upgrade from last year's FreeBuds 3 is the new 11 millimeter magnetic drivers and the inclusion of silicon tips. And there are three different ones to choose from and in the Huawei AI Life app, you can even find out which ones are the best for you using the software, which is pretty interesting. So the silicon tips in my opinion are fantastic as they will help the FreeBuds Pro to stay more secured in your ears, but they will also assist with the adaptive noise cancelling with their passive noise cancelling qualities. And on that note, the way the FreeBuds Pro achieve active noise cancelling is pretty interesting. So most earbuds will use exterior mics to capture ambient noise and play it in reverse phase to achieve active noise cancelling. And Huawei with the FreeBuds Pro are using a slightly more upgraded approach with hybrid active noise cancelling. Essentially, there's a microphone inside your ear canal which can also detect noise actually getting through the sides and actually use that to block out even more noise. So it's capturing noise inside your ears using bone conduction sensors. That is an interesting new approach to noise cancelling. And on paper, Huawei's ANC can deliver an impressive 40 decibels of noise cancellation. And I've been using these exclusively as my earbuds. And what I like to do sometimes when I'm driving in my car is have one earbud in, just in case someone phones me, I can use that. And actually, that ear which the earbud is in, the amount of car noise that's blocked out is really surprising. I have tested out a lot of ANC earbuds and these are up there definitely in the top three right now that I've ever tested. And maybe right now even number one, I'm gonna have to put that to the test a bit more, but I can tell you from my experience, the noise cancellation is pretty epic. So that bone conduction sensor becomes doubly useful as Huawei have utilized that to improve voice calls too. The combination of this with the mics placed at the top and bottom of each stem allow the earbuds to cancel out more wind noise. And Huawei call this a dual anti-wind design. The bottom mic focuses on your voice, the upper mic isolates and eliminates wind noise frequencies, and the bone conduction mic helps to lock into your vocal frequencies. So three mics, not only to assist with active noise cancelling, but also to assist with voice calls. And that takes me nicely onto this section where I'm gonna test out the mics on the Huawei 3 Buds Pro. Let's go. So right now I've got the earbuds hooked up to the computer behind me on Adobe Audition and you're hearing the actual voice quality from these. Now check this out, I have a fan. So this is wind noise right now going past the earbuds while I'm talking to you. That's the right earbud, let's do the left one. How does it sound? How's it handling that wind? It's quite powerful this thing. Let me know guys, how's it sounding? 
Now let's test some coffee shop background noise as well. All right, so now we've got some pretty loud coffee shop background noise. I kind of even feel like I have to speak a bit louder just to sort of compensate for this, how loud it is, because I can hear it through the earbuds. How's it sounding to you guys with that background noise? How did it do in the wind test? And what did you think of it overall? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, let's crack on with the video. So when it comes to usability of the Freebuds Pro, Huawei have stepped up their Bluetooth game here and they've gone for a Bluetooth 5.2 receiver. So that's pretty awesome. There's also dual antennas inside each bud. So connectivity has also been leveled up and latency has been minimized to just 180 milliseconds, making these really perfect for gaming. And also when you're watching movies, you shouldn't see any lip sync issues at all. I haven't noticed any myself. I've been playing some games with these earbuds and it does sound pretty awesome. So no issues there. Now going back to the more angular stems, when it comes to usability, the design helps with Huawei's new pinch control system. The way it works is a single pinch will pause your music or play it if it was already paused, a double pinch to skip forward, a triple pinch to skip back, and a long pinch will toggle between your ANC modes. And there's also a slide feature to volume down and volume up. Now I've heard some people kind of complain about this pinching system and I actually really like it. And what we've even added in this kind of tactile noise when you click the earbuds as well, so you know you've done it. I actually really like this approach to onboard controls. It works really well. So if you own an Android phone, you will get some exclusive features using the AI Life app, such as the ability to tweak the ANC and customize the inputs for example, you could use that long pinch to wake your assistant if you wanted. And if you own a Huawei device, the usability side of these get even better because all you do is pop open the case for the first time and it will automatically connect to your device without you having to mess around with any Bluetooth settings or anything like that, which certainly makes life easier. And another great usability feature is the wear detect sensors. So when you take these out of your ear, they will know they're out of your ear, they'll stop the music. When you put them back in, it will start the music again. So that's a nice little usability feature. We saw that before on other devices, but these still have that and you would expect that because that is a premium feature. Now let's move on to the sound quality section. I'll tell you how these compare in my opinion to the Free Buzz 3 of last year. So right now I'm listening to this track, which is kind of an EDM track. And I just listened to this track on the Free Buds 3 before and noticeably way more bass, a lot more bass than the Free Buds 3. Clarity is amazing, the vocals are good and the bass is nice and rounded, not overpowered, but definitely these are good when it comes to EDM. All right, so this is kind of like a grunge rock track and you're getting really great details here waiting for the vocals really well balanced here the kind of kick you get there in the high ends is really nice the bass not too overpowering again it's still powerful but sometimes companies go a bit crazy with bass and then you lose all of the detail in the mids and it gets quite muddy but that doesn't happen here these are performing well when it comes to rock so this is a sort of hip-hop track I know a lot of you guys don't consider this classic hip hop, but it's got really good bass line. That's why I like to use this to test the bass. Let me ramp up the volume. When you go to the maximum volume here, the bass sounds really nice. The only thing is the high ends get really loud as well and quite sharp. So you, you max it out, it kind of, you get the bass that you want for this kind of tune, but then everything else is too sharp. But when you keep it in that mid range, again, everything's just very nicely balanced. Good amount of bounce there to the, to the bass line. Performing very well here when it comes to hip hop. All right, so this is the sort of classical opera type music. Not really my style, but I know some of you guys might wanna know how these perform when it comes to this kind of music. And this is also a great test for soundstage. Does it feel like you're in that concert hall? And it's quite hard to achieve this in earbuds. It's definitely easier with over ear headphones, but they're doing a good job, definitely. The clarity in the vocals is good. The detail is there. That kind of soundstage feel is pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. Having listened to the four different genres just now, I would definitely lean towards EDM being the best suited category for this. So pop music and stuff like that would be perfect too. 
Anyway, let's crack on with the rest of the video. So now onto my favorite section, awesome features. So one of the most awesome features in my opinion when it comes to these Huawei FreeBuds Pro, having used them for just over a week now, is the adaptive noise cancelling. The way that these can adapt on the fly to your surroundings. So if you're walking down the street and there's road noise, it will do its best to block that out. If you're on a plane, maybe it'll level it up even more. If it's quite a quiet area, maybe it's not gonna use much noise cancelling at all. And the way it does that is really, really effective. That for me is an awesome feature. I know we've seen it before, but Huawei have really nailed it here when it comes to that. So on the software side of things, Huawei have thrown in a dynamic adaptive equalizer, which will basically use that bone conduction mic to try and fine tune the audio using the equalizer so that the sound is perfect for you. I'm gonna to have to mess around with this a bit more to really see how good it is, but the fact that they've thrown that in there is pretty awesome if you ask me. That's an awesome feature. And another awesome feature, which I forgot to mention in the usability section, is the wireless charging feature. Not only can you just charge this on any wireless charger, but you can also use the back of your phone to do it as well if you have reverse wireless charging like the Huawei P40 Pro. So when it comes to wireless earbuds, a lot of them can only really handle one device at a time. One of the awesome features here on the FreeBuds Pro is the fact that you can pair this, for example, to the PC, and then also to your phone at the same time. And then if you're working on your computer and then suddenly your phone rings, you can switch over and pick up the call using your earbuds because it's connected to both devices at the same time. That's a great feature there. Awesome feature if you ask me, dual connectivity. Now, if you're going on a long journey, something that's gonna be really, really important is battery life. And the Huawei FreeBuds Pro have 30 hours or up to 30 hours battery life with ANC switched off. If you're going full ANC on a plane, you can go for about seven and a half hours with ANC on. And the last awesome feature, which is very useful, is the ability to switch to voice mode. So there's a setting here so that the noise cancelling will allow voice frequencies through. And there's also ambient mode, so it'll actually feed the sound from outside the earbuds through to your ears so if you're riding a bike or you're on a skateboard or something like that you don't want to get run over that's going to be an awesome feature for you so if you guys have any questions about these earbuds leave them in the comments below if i get enough of those questions i might make an entire video answering those questions so make sure you do that and if you enjoyed this video you might also enjoy these other thumbnails on screen right now and if you just subscribed you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man i'll see you guys in the next one don't be late